Good morning. Our mission is to make data simple and accessible to the world. But is there a way to bring data to life? Can we really make data and analytics an immersive experience? That's something that we've been working on. And I'm going to show you something today on stage that I think you've probably never seen before. But before we go there, let me give you some context. About 18 months ago, IBM made a commitment to Apache Spark, and we called it the analytics operating system because our belief is that Spark will underpin analytics in every organization. We've become the number one contributor to machine learning around Spark, which is where we really see this technology going. Earlier this year, we introduced what I would call the first enterprise app or an integrated development environment for Spark with data science experience an open source set of tools where data scientists can work together to make data science a team sport. But we started thinking about this. Every operating system and every application needs something else to have real world impact. So we'll come back to that in a moment. I want to introduce you to Dinesh and Pam. They work for a property management company right here in New York. And they're starting to think about how can we rethink our energy usage in our different properties. So imagine what you could do if you could simulate this in a 3D environment, walking around the data. So that's exactly what Dinesh has done. Let me show you this demonstration. So first, Dinesh goes into data science experience, and he starts to pull different data sets over to the augmented reality field. The blue squares are buildings. You can see this superimposed over Manhattan. And he starts to bring over more data. The black is weather stations. He's got data from block power, property data from block power, as well as weather data. And he begins to pinpoint the kilowatts of an hour per square foot with the blue dots. So that's what you see superimposed above this. So Dadesh is starting to create a world. And then he says, hey, I want to put this on the floor so I can make it even bigger and start to walk around it. So as he begins to walk around it, he can start to see the different shapes of the data. The pink lines represent the spending on the energy in each of those buildings. So again, it becomes a very immersive experience for how he's interacting with the data. He starts to make notes and pinpoint things that he sees in the data and the patterns. Then he says, hey, let me go grab some more weather data because I want to bring that over to the model so I can look at the highs and lows of weather temperature and how that's impacting energy usage. That's what the green dots are. Then Dinesh says, okay, I've got my model built, but I need to get Pam in the loop here. But Pam's across the country. So Pam, via remote collaboration, puts on her AR headset, and Dinesh starts to recreate this world right in her office, even though she's across the country. And he starts to point to the different dots so that she can see the data happening right in front of her. He starts to make suggestions about which properties they could focus on, which ones are making the best use of energy. And ultimately, he puts the red halos around the properties that he wants her to focus on and to think about. This is changing the nature of data and analytics. And we're really proud about the progress that we're making here. Now, this is just a short AR demonstration technology that we're working on. We've got it running across all AR headsets in the market, so really think of it as a software platform. But if you think about it, for this to be successful, for it to have real-world impact, you've got to have a unique approach to how you're managing data, manipulating data, and ultimately ingesting data. And that's why I'm proud to announce the third piece of our puzzle, which is a platform for enterprise data it's a new IBM Watson project that's called DataWorks. And we are introducing this new platform that's steeped in artificial intelligence that will basically make all of the data in an organization ready for artificial intelligence. Now, who does this appeal to? It appeals to all of you in the audience, the data professionals that are trying to get an impact out of the data that you're using, whether you're a data scientist, a business analyst, a chief data officer, perhaps, or a developer. This is the kind of capability in DataWorks that can change 
how you do analytics. But I'll warn you of one thing. Beware of the ML toy. There are many toys on the market masquerading as machine learning and ML. And there's a big difference between an ML toy and ML technology. And IBM DataWorks is bringing machine learning and artificial intelligence at scale to the world. Business this week, we'd love to have you see it, put your hands on it, and play with it yourself. Thank you very much.